Francois Hollande leaves behind mixed results as French president after five years battling high unemployment and an unprecedented wave of jihadist attacks. Hollande promised he would cut unemployment by 2013. It took three years to achieve this. In 2016, unemployment finally fell by 0.4% but remained high overall at 9.7% of the active population. Measures to lower corporate taxes, which in 2017 will save companies 41 billion euros, have had little impact on employment, while households have benefited from some 6 billion euros of reductions since 2014. Growth remains lacklustre. In 2016, it was 1.1% compared with 1.7% in the eurozone. France's 2017 budget deficit is set to exceed yet again the 3% of GDP limit imposed by Brussels. Labour reforms meant to increase competition were forced through Parliament, triggering widespread opposition from unions and the majority of politicians. After a wave of terrorist attacks in France, the government strengthened its legislative arsenal, a state of emergency has been in place since November 2015, and 9,000 law and order jobs created. Hollande's presidency also saw same-sex marriage become legal and the historic Paris Climate Change Pact come into force following COP21. Internationally, Alon launched military operations in Mali, the Central African Republic, Iraq and Syria.